what we have here is um, a PNG file. So if you're trying to actually cut something out or select something for to isolate it, so you copy and paste it, this is actually the easiest way to do this. However, um, for your collage project, you would have to have two complex cutouts. PNG files are not going to count because there's literally no work to be done here. If you look at this, you have this gray and um, light and dark gray checkered background. That means there's nothing there. If you have a PNG file, you literally only have to do um, Command A, which is select all, copy it, and then if I paste this thing onto a new layer, you'll see up here, I hit the new layer, and my new layer is exactly that. There is no cutting out. However, these are excellent to add to your stuff. Um, uh, if you are looking for these, when you do a search, I would do a search for, say, a football player, and then type in PNG. So my search for, say, football player, PNG, you will tend to get PNG files. Moving on a little bit, this is another one that is not a complex cutout. This is pretty easy. For this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, free, or sorry, fuzzy select tool. This is a tool that selects pixels of, pixels of a similar color. So if I click on this background area here, oops, I'm on the wrong layer, my bad, hold on. All right, I've got two here. So if I click on this, what you get is you get all, you can see the dotted white li dotted lines, the marching ants lines around here. Um, I'm getting all the white. However, I did not get this down here in between all these things. So I will have to click, so I'm holding my shift button down. You can see there's a small plus next to my tool, add to my selection. Click, click, anything in between, here, here, here. Now I have everything but Bugs Bunny selected. At this point, since I want to get him, I will come up here to select. I will go to invert, which is like reverse. Um, Command I would be the shortcut for a Mac. Now I have him selected. I copy him. I paste him. I hit my new layer. And bam, I just have him. Similar case, if I come down here to this Bugs Bunny on black, I'll have some similar situations. Once again, fuzzy select tool. I click around him. Hold on one second. Do, do, do. Saying I can't, oh, wrong layer, huh, there we go. I click around him. So once again, I got everything with this, this first try. However, if you'll notice, you can see the marching ants on the black lines in here. This is where I use multiple tools. I come up here to the free select tool. And down here in the tool options, I have replaced the current selection. So if I do a new one, it'll just make a new selection. I can add to the current selection. Um, in this case, I have all of the black, but I don't want the black in him, so I'm going to subtract. So what I would do is I would come in here, and I would have to outline any of these black outlines that I got, like so. Now I got a little bit of that there, so I'd have to go back to a plus. Actually, I'm just going to undo that. It's going to make my life a little bit easier. All right, so now here's what I'm going to do this time is I'm just clicking with my mouse so that it grabs things in straight lines, easier to control than trying to draw with the mouse. And of course, you guys would definitely want to zoom in, make your life easier, but you can see I'm knocking these selection areas out. I'm not going to do the entire thing, but if I went through and knocked these black lines out, that's a lot easier than going through and hand tracing this entire thing. That would take forever. Once again, I go up to select, because I'm modifying selection, invert. Now I have Bugs Bunny selected. I copy, paste, new layer, and once again, I just have him. Okay. You notice that some of these lines look kind of gray in here. That's because I didn't finish selecting them. All these black lines are gone. See, they're gone. All right. So once again, you can do that. Doesn't count towards one of your complex selections. So what does? Okay, so if I come onto this here and I want to select this thing now, um, I'm going to set my free select tool, by the way, back to regular. Now, I could try to sit here and try to um, outline this. If I draw by hand, drawing with a mouse stinks. I'm actually really good at it because I play video games on a mouse keyboard all the time, but I can't do this. I just, it's not going to get close enough. That's still kind of, yeah, all right? So deselect that. That's no good. I could do the click method, which is better. Um, is at least doable, uh, but even with this, what you find is that um, you don't have the level of control you want. Your stuff will look sort of like it's been cut out with scissors, and that this is a series of perfectly straight lines. It's not going to be really obvious, but it will be there. So when I copy and paste this thing, 
the edge this is actually reasonably good uh, but the edge is a little bit choppy so here let me undo that and undo that one more time there we go so what I would recommend for this honestly is hey remember when you made letters in uh, with the graffiti is you can click on this and with a car since it's made up of a series of long smooth curves and guess what this tool is made to select long smooth curves here I'm going to do part of it here um, command this is a great tool because I can sit here let me zoom in all right and once again I can grab the handles and just like you did this to shape your letters um, when you were making your graffiti this is a great tool for come on there we go this is a great tool for matching up these smooth curves um, this is really underrated by most people just how much detail you can and how much control you can have to select things out with this um, this is what the pros are going to do with this thing to be perfectly honest with you if they have to hand select something like this they're going to use this tool so something to think about all right so that would be an option this would count as a complex cutout just so you know all right so our last one here is i've got rock and grammy here, granny here um, once again i could go through and try to do this with a mouse um, i could use a combination of hand drawn for some curves and i could do some straight lines it would be okay um, that is an option but not my major choice okay so I said, you know what, I want to do something easier than that. I'm going to use something here called a quick mask. So I'm going to, first off, I have to select part of it. You have to select something for this to work. You come down to the lower left. You'll see these little dotted lines in a square here. I click this. Everything that is clear is selected. Everything that is red is not selected. I come up here to my brush. I'm going to change to a paintbrush that has a hard edge, not a fuzzy edge. This is really important. And I'm going to make sure that my tools are set on black and white. What happens with this, I might make my brush a little bit larger, that's way too large. Um, what happens with this is that whatever I paint white goes clear. Remember, clear is selected. Whatever I paint black goes back to red. So if I'm working along here and I accidentally come outside and go, whoa, whoa, that's way too much, I come up here to my colors, switch it back to black and then I can go back through and paint this. So the beauty of this is twofold. One, you can very easily see what you've done. Um, you can use different size brushes. So I can grow my brush like this. I just use the bracket tool to grow my brush. If I want relatively straight lines, I can hold my shift button down. And if you can see, it leaves a line between where I started clicking, where I clicked the first time, and where I'm going to click again. And even with this large brush, I can then work with relative control um, and go back to hand painting at any time. And as I said, if I make a mistake, then I can just go ahead and paint it with black and get that out. Um, when you are done, what you want to do is switch back to a selection. And you can see the marching ant lines along the border here. And then once again, you can copy and paste it. Um, if you are caught at the end of the period and you are still here, do not save at this point. It will not really do anything for you you want to turn it to a selection. So I would turn it to a selection, I would go through file, save, and then when you come back in the next day, your selection will still be here. That's it.